All right, in this video, I'll give you my thoughts about uh, the most shocking uh, news that has come out. Uh, the Indian athlete, her name is Vinesh Bogat, who is an Indian wrestler, a very decorated Indian wrestler. She got disqualified at the Olympics for being 100 grams slightly above the limit, 100 grams. And uh, now, before she could have at least she, she had a chance of winning the gold. Everyone believed she would have won the gold. And if she lost, she would have won silver. But now because she got disqualified, she will not win. She can't win the gold anyway. She will not win the silver. She will not win the bronze. She will get nothing because she got disqualified. And this is a shock. The reason being is because India, the most populous nation in the world, hardly has any... Uh, Olympic uh, credentials. Now, before you jump the gun and say, oh, you're an Indian hater, let me just give you simple numbers. United States, until until today, United States has won 2,822, uh, 28 medals. Okay, as of 2020 Olympics. Uh, that's the data which I have. 2,828. Soviet Union, which is Russia, 1,835. UK, UK, such a small nation, 948. Okay, India, which has billion, a billion population, has got a total of 38 medals. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of India. I'm not saying, yeah, look at India, 30. No, I, this, this might come as a surprise and a shock for you, but I absolutely admire and have nothing but respect for Indian athletes who, without any sponsorship, without any support from the government, without any help, with hardly any infrastructure, are competing with the world's best. And just think about it, that these, these athletes are not rich. They are just simple people like you and me, even maybe earning less, and they dedicate for, uh, minimum, minimum of 15 to 20 years of their life, 8 to 12 hours, to maybe even... 14, 15, 16 hours, every single day, non-stop, until they reach. And to reach here, you have to qualify, you know, simple, from uh, your local level to maybe the uh, village level or the panchayat level, then the uh, state level, then the regional level. So there are different, different levels, and it is impossibly hard. Just imagine the sacrifices, the money, the food, the supplementation, the coaching, and most of them don't even have, forget the technology, the progressive uh, facilities most of these athletes have from USA and Russia or uh, whichever country. Like in China and Russia, the government themselves get involved in making sure the athletes uh, forget from getting all the technology to even, which uh, you can see online, they even pay for them to get juiced up. Okay. So India only loves cricket in the Indian public and the Indian government only loves cricket because that is where the big money is. Nobody cares about wrestling. Nobody cares about any other sport. That is why hockey or football, hardly anyone bothers. There's no any premier league of hockey and football. It's just cricket. Okay. So I have nothing but the absolute respect for Indian athletes who make it on their own without any financial remuneration. Okay. In fact, uh, I think uh, only if you get gold, only if you get the gold medal, the Indian government pays you 90,000 US dollars. Uh, US pays even more or less, 37, I think. Singapore pays the highest, which is 750,000 US dollars. Okay. You can get the right amounts uh, by doing Google search or whatever. So I respect these athletes. Now, you must be thinking, now, if you are well-informed, you'd know that she got disqualified for the right reasons and not the wrong reasons. Okay, let me just tell you in a very simple brief why 100 grams was so impossible to lose. Okay, I've been an MMA boxing wrestling fan, not the WWE wrestling, actual wrestling for very many years. I love um, sporting events. Now, MMA, mixed martial arts, there are different categories like fighting, different categories are weights, weight category. You have the 50 kilo, 60 kilo, 
70 kilo, 80 kilo, you can have, or you can even have 50, 55, 60, 65, whatever the categories. Now, what happens is the athletes who take part in each category, they will never fight at their natural weight. They will fight at a lower weight. So to make you understand, let's say I naturally weigh 100 kilos. I will not fight at 100. If I weigh 100 kilos naturally, like my natural body weight, without any dieting and all that is 100 kilo, I would prefer to fight at 90 or 80. Some even fight lower. Why? Because after you get rid of all the fat, the muscle and the strength remains. And then it is very possible for you to have the greatest chance of winning. And uh, uh, I can't get the name of the UFC uh, fighter right now, but he used to compete at heavyweight, which was nearly like 100 kilos. And uh, now he, f he lost so much weight that he's fighting, I think, nearly at 70 kilos. And, you know, when you are a big guy with hardly any fat and uh, you are shredded, the power that you can give is unbelievable. Now, here's something which will shock you. If you were to lose weight, and this is for those people who cannot understand, oh, you had only 100 grams to lose. Why didn't you lose that much? I'll make it very simple for you. When I did the 15-day water fast, uh, water fast means I only drink water, nothing else, no food. 15 days without food. I lost so much weight, I came down to 57 kilos. Now, remember, I was 125 kilos. I'd come down to 80 kilos after my bariatric surgery, 80, 82. And then because of intermittent fasting, I came down to uh, 70. And now I wanted to see if I didn't have any food for 15 days, what would my weight be? And I came down to 57. And my, if for those of you who have seen my videos, they are there of fasting videos. My eyes were sunk in. I looked like a skeleton with just skin. My bones were jutting out. Uh, I could literally see the fibers in my muscle and every single person from my wife to even the people who are selling fruits and vegetables in the market, they said, is he sick? Is he going to die? Please, please. What is happening to him? And where's my dog barking? Okay. And then finally, uh, when they came to know that I was not eating food and I was trying to cut down, uh, I was, you know, going through the fast. People pleaded, all of them came together. They actually pleaded with my wife, please tell them to stop. It looked that horrific. Athletes actually go through this. I want you to Google search Chris Cyborg, C-R-I-S-C-Y-B-O-R-G. Check uh, the extreme weight loss by Chris Cyborg. And the other video that I want you to see is Conor McGregor. He's a very famous MMA fighter. Um, let's say he was fighting at 70 kilos. 70 kilos, you know, he's like right now, I think it's 70 kilos body weight. He used to fight literally 55. If you see his face, you'll think he's dying. He's like a dead body. His eyes are inside. His cheeks are, there's no cheeks. There's no skin. This, It's like he's dying. These people like Chris Cyborg, uh, Conor McGregor and all these athletes, they diet so much. They lose so much of water weight, not muscle, water weight. And it's not fat. They hardly have fat that if they lose more, they can even die. I have literally seen videos where people, the most dangerous fighters, the most scariest fighters, they cry. They literally cry. They break down and they say, no, I quit. I can't give up. You'll be shocked to know this in uh, MMA fights, mixed martial arts, <clears throat> fighters were not able to lose half a pound. That's hardly maybe 20 grams or something, 20, 30 grams because it was slightly overweight. Um, when I was losing weight, I, I had not eaten for three, uh, in that 15 days, three days, my weight stayed the same. So in this female's case, she literally, I'm seeing the article where she did not, I'll tell you, she cut her hair, she drew out blood, she avoided sleeping, she did not drink any water and she was exercising. She went so extreme just to lose and qualify but they could not what you need to understand is where women are concerned and body weight is concerned for females um, from their periods to their hormones all these factors come into play and it's very very hard and uh, 
uh, Vinesh Pogat. She is naturally at 56, 57 kilos. Uh, she already pushed herself to be at 50 kilos. But now, maybe because she ate something, maybe because she had a bad day, maybe emotionally she was, you know. I'll tell you, you, you might find this odd, but even if you are emotionally sad or you had a bad day, that also can increase your weight. These poor athletes, they literally wear, you know, this black sauna uh, outfit and they wear so many clothes and uh, they wear towels and then they sit in the sauna steam for hours and hours. I'll, I'll give you an open challenge. Try sitting in the sauna steam room, please, without medical supervision, don't do this. I'm, I'm just giving as a challenge <coughs> and ask yourself, how long can you sit in a sauna steam? How long? I... I have sat down for 15 minutes where it's really hot. I was not able to do beyond 15 minutes. Very hard. These people do sometimes even for six hours. They sit in a hot tub, very hot water with salt. And then they go sit in a sauna. They are just losing water weight. And the reason for that is so that they can qualify for their weight class. Unfortunately for Vinesh Pogat, she didn't qualify. She was... 100 kilos, uh, sorry, 100 grams overweight and a very decorated individual. She's one of the rare uh, Indian athletes who represented India. In fact, she's the first Indian female wrestler to qualify for the Olympics final. And now because of this, her dream is over. You might think, oh, she can compete in the next Olympics. Well, the next Olympics will be after four more years. She'll be four more years older. Uh, the body doesn't hold up especially for athletes. As far as I feel, this was maybe her last chance to do it. And just think about it. Almost 20 years, or she's 29, so almost 20 plus years, eight hours to 12 hours every single day, just for this few minutes of competition. And she has lost everything. <sighs> I can only, I can only give my support through this video and maybe you can also do the same by, if you know her Instagram handle or Twitter, just give your support to her. Uh, I really wish that the Indian government does something for her. Maybe Prime Minister Modi can do something. But it's unfortunate that only when you get a gold medal, they will reward you or they will take care of you. If you don't get anything, they don't care. So they come back with zero. The only thing these athletes want is just glory for their country. And... Uh, I, for me personally, these individuals are a matter of pride for India. Every Indian should be proud of an individual like this and do whatever they can to support her. All I can say is, it's really sad. It's really sad that this is how it turned out. And, um, you know, all these athletes, uh, they don't get any support. So if there are these multi-billionaires and millionaires of India, these rich people, these rich politicians, businessmen and rich governing bodies. I just hope they donate something, something, some money, anything just for her and her family. But then again, this is wishful thinking. So that's all I have to say. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. But I can definitely tell you that this is not a conspiracy theory. This is it's just that she didn't qualify. And there's no way for her to lose. Remember, I told you. Athletes have been disqualified for half a pound, half, and they were not able to lose it because sometimes your body just shuts down. There's no more water. There's nothing other than just muscle and bones. And some of them have even died uh, by doing this, taking extreme measures like uh, steroids, like diuretics and all that. Uh, you can just Google search bodybuilders who have died because they have taken steroids just to lose weight and look shredded. So it shuts down your whole body and organs. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Good, bad, ugly. Feel free. Life goes on, I guess. Take care.